What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Chris Lopes and today we are doing a video about these guys right here. So what we're gonna do is we are replacing the reflectors that are in the back bumper of the 20, I guess 17 to 2020 Honda Civic SIs. Don't quote me exact years, but mine is a 2018 Civic SI. And these are basically lights that are, we're gonna replace those because those are kind of just like reflectors, they don't do much. And this is gonna add just a little, you know, a little touch to the car, it's gonna look really good. I'm here with Alex, he's just sitting down, we just woke up. Let's get into this video. It's pretty simple, Alex is gonna do the wiring. I'll take out the the whole honeycomb thing, I'm a jiggy, and you guys can see what's up. So what we're gonna do, uh, you're gonna need a few things to do this. You're gonna need Phillips, you're gonna have two Phillips here and here, and you're gonna work your way around with the clips. Uh, we're gonna take the Phillips off first so we have some space to work with and uh, you're just gonna reach underneath your bumper and try getting to it like that. Might be a little difficult, but let's try seeing if we can actually get to it. And then after we're gonna release all this and wire up the rear LED. I'm just gonna try finding the Phillips. And here's one. It's a little tricky, you just gotta position your hand properly, make sure you apply pressure while you take this off so you don't strip it. Uno. Cameraman. Gracias. This just takes a little bit of finagling. I'm gonna try using this smaller screwdriver here. Not getting to it. This is the screwdriver I use to get the, the other one. As you can see, you're rubbing your hands up against stuff. If you wanna wear gloves, wear gloves. If not, just know the top one is more difficult than the bottom one. Uh, we've already done that side, so we're good with that. Now we're gonna try basically removing all this. Just be careful, go slow. And yeah. if you guys need some plastic clip removers, I will link them down below. Show the ones I got. They work for what they are and uh, it's not too, too bad. I said we've just boom we, I just loosened them all slowly until I had enough gap which was in this corner to pull it out and now we can tackle these guys and it's literally two clips that will remove it and put it back in and Alex is gonna do the wiring because he is the wiring guy so to pop the reflector out you just literally just squeeze it and it just pops out that easily and now what we're gonna do is put our new ones in that actually light up and we're gonna wire it to the brake light of the car. And on to you, Mr. Alex. All right, here we go. Let's get her going. We've just mounted it to the to the honeycomb, so we have to just push it in and then put a screw. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not re gonna reuse the top one. I'm just gonna put it back in the middle over here, and then we're gonna basically put that bottom screw back in, but this will hold the light perfectly. And now what we have to do is remove the tail light so we can access the all the uh, wiring behind it and just looks like some small Phillips over here. We've taken the two screws out, which are just uh, a Phillips, and now we're just removing the tail light, which is clipped into the corner over there. And you just basically, it's, you gotta kind of pull it out and mess with it a bit. There you go. And there you go. And now we have all the access we need to the tail light to wire it up. All right, so we're gonna install the LED into this. So you're gonna run your wires through it obviously poke that through there run the wire downwards and then that's going to sit in there and once again you're going to use one of your screws you can use a different screw and uh, mine didn't come with any so i'm going to use one of the existing ones that we're mounting to the bumper and we're just going to use the one that was at the top to put into the middle there and hold the led and we're going to just figure out how to wire it right now and that's uh his job the wiring king so the tiger king he can be the wiring king now what we're gonna do is wire it through the bumper so you're gonna poke it through one of those holes there and then we're gonna wire it upwards which uh, we got to go underneath the bumper and pull it up until it's around here this looks like a funny angle oh 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 got it it's definitely a little easier if you have amigos here with you to help you out and just basically see what Alex is doing. Just clip it back in. And it should clip see in. What I'm doing? You see what he's doing? So what Alex did is kind of remove the plastic around the wires and we just use a wire stripper and expose the wires so that we can tap into all that over there. So the black is the ground, which I know, and the rest Alex will tell you. <laughs> okay, so the top of the tail light is green. So you put the green in here, obviously to the positive. 
Uh, and then you put the yellow for the indicator, put it into here as well. And for the red is the main tail light, so brake light. And then if you guys see on the other side of the pigtail here, you can see what is the actual positive and negative. And the white is a positive, the negative is the black, and then the existing black wire will You could put it into any one of those negative plugs. Side. So just make sure when you guys are putting this in, you're putting into the positive side and not the negative. Yeah, I've seen a video of a guy doing it like this, so it's probably easier instead of cutting and snipping wires and doing all that. So I'm sure it'll work out like this. So we're gonna do that and plug them all in and test it out, see how it goes. Now we're just gonna put a negative into any of the negative slots there and we're gonna plug these in. And once we plug these in, we're gonna test it and see if everything works correctly. Sorry, plug them back into the original spots there. So one thing that we were noticing is on both sides where the like the tail light kind of inserts here is there's chips and it happened on both sides. So I'm pretty sure this is from factory. Let me know if that happened with you guys too. I'm gonna touch that thing up. So we've completed this side, it's all done. Uh, we're gonna do this side, but we're not gonna record it because the same process as this. And once we're done this side, we'll show you how it looks. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty badass so far, I'm excited. Live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Check these things out. They actually look really, really good. We've put everything together. We double checked everything. As you can see, they're sequential. Alex, signal right. As you can see. And now brake. Let go of the brake. Brake. And as you can see, they brighten it up with the brakes as well. Very, very cool. Look at that. Then if you turn off the headlights, they are off. Now turn them back on. There you go. They're really, really good quality. I'll put a link down below where I bought them too. Um, I believe I got them off eBay, but they do look really good. Check them out, guys. As you can see, it really complements the rear end. Just those little LED lights give the car, I don't know, more of a fancier feel. It's better than having those cheap little plastic reflectors. And it's looking pretty good. I'm actually really liking it. Look at that. And they, they look fancy and they look good. So just a little overview on it. So when you're splicing actually into the, the taillight pigtails, whatever you want to call it, just make sure that it's in properly. And before you actually put the taillight in and you put all those ends of the actual wires into the pigtails, clip them in and make sure they're in properly. Sometimes they do slip out and then you'll notice that you're not getting power or it's not doing the sequential, you know, signal or you're not getting that brake flash on it. So double check everything a few times with somebody and then clip it in. This was an easier way of doing it instead of splicing into all your wires. And uh, the only thing is you always got to double check and make sure everything works. And I think you should do that with whatever you do. Uh, but I'm really happy. I've sat on these for a long time and really completes the, the rear end with that. And now I just need to rear the fuser. And I think I might grab that ABS Dynamics one, which looks really, really good. But I'm super happy with the way this rear is turning out. Uh, maybe a duck bill should be coming sometime soon. And uh, I don't know, depending on carbon or not. Or keeping it clean because it's my daily driver and the carbon will wear over time and stuff like that. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. I just want to give a big shout out to Alex. Big shout out, big shout out. Thanks for helping out with the wiring and stuff like that and helping out with everything usually. He is an OG and he is clutch. I want to say thank you to all of you for checking out the channel. We are working our way up. We're going to hit that 20K hopefully this year. We're just continuing pushing videos out. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see down below. EP3 comp, uh, content, tension content, what parts you want to install. I'm making videos for you and for me. Obviously, these parts aren't my car, but I want to show you guys how to do it and make some cool content. I think we might do a race video between the tension and the EP3 once I get the Flash Pro and the EP3, so we'll make it kind of fair. Uh, what do you guys, who do you guys think is going to win? EP3 Type R, K20A, or 1.5 Turbo? I want to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Do it once, do it right later.